Today, we take a truck that had one of the most famous and largest World War II cannons mounted on it, the 88, but was used for taking out planes with this truck. With its almost zero armor slow gun movement and much slower rate of fire compared to most other anti-air vehicles of its time that would use machinery gun type weaponry, how many of these and World War II prop planes does it take to balance these two out? Today, we put these two to the test. Sponsor of today's video is Golden Eagles for War Thunder. Get free Golden Eagles by completing a variety of simple tasks such as downloading apps, watching ads, or completing surveys. Withdraw gained eagles into your game account easily. Use my referral code to get 10 Golden Eagles as an entry bonus. Link in the description. Now, back to our video. We'll be putting the 88cm Flak 37 SFL to the test in three rounds to see how many planes and trucks does it take to balance these two out. From my own experience trying to shoot down planes in this, this has to be one of the worst anti-air vehicles around its BR War Thunder for fighting planes compared to its many anti-air vehicle counterparts that can get way more ammo into the sky, but is extremely deadly against ground targets having no problem destroying anything in its way. If you know much about this vehicle, you'll have to let me know in the comments below what the Germans saw in this thing when intending this to go against anti-air. Let's see how 11 trucks can do against 7 planes of its own time period for round 1. War Thunder's replay aim system a little slow, that was a great shot, taking the first plane down so quickly, but with these planes bombs and machine guns against this truck's zero armor, how well can they hold up against the rest? trying to hide under trees which is smart but I'm not sure what some of these trucks are doing out in the open making them completely vulnerable and easy to see targets almost two minutes in with two trucks down and one plane down. Explosive with time fuse rounds these trucks can use against planes to blow up when a plane is close pretty much have to be a direct hit to even get a kill, with some trucks easily getting many of their crew knocked out from the rain of machine gun fire, it increases the difficulty making everything operationally slower for the truck team. Oh my word, and it's helpful that many of these trucks when tipping over from a nearby explosion can bounce back right side up again so quickly. Not even aimed in all the way a truck is able to take out another plane making the score about 4 minutes in with only 2 planes left and 7 trucks to go. Down to the last plane, will its rockets and guns be enough to turn this around for their side? shots getting pretty close and with so many trucks being able to focus in on one target it's going to be quite a challenge. 
using the plane to its own fault, the trucks take the victory for round one, doing way better than I was expecting. We go into round two with more participants, where 16 trucks will go against 11 planes. Will the trucks still be able to achieve victory for this round, with more to take on? Let's find out. With an early chaos round of who can kill more with infinite respawns in a 15 minute time period. Truck team trying to spread out, which is going to be their best move here to help protect themselves from the blast radius of the bombs. But when getting instantly killed, many decide to spawn in the same area, which could turn into a mega death pool if not being able to get out. Couple minutes in and already most of the trucks that were able to spread out from the beginning have already been destroyed, with many having difficulty just having enough time to aim and get hits on the planes. This could not look too good for how this may turn out for the truck side. Way through round two and the plane side has taken out 14 trucks while six of the planes have fallen. Imagine how frustrating this was for the trucks as if they're able to get a shot off they may have to wait another six and a half seconds or more if crew are knocked out until another shell loads. And what's a plane fight without including some bombers? Incoming. Yeah, I'd say that wasn't balanced at all with 72 trucks being destroyed and only 8 planes getting knocked out. We now don't let the planes use bombs in our final round to see if this helps even the match doing the same with unlimited respawns to see how many of each can knock out each other in a 15 minute time span. Let's see if this changes anything for the truck side. Still trying to spread out, but already being taken back to their spawn. Is this going to be a repeat of the last round? The 
impressive how many bullets it takes from plane to knock out all six or enough crew to destroy a truck, potentially giving them a little more time on their side to aim and hopefully get more shots off. They say truck even though technically these things are half tracks. About halfway through with 23 flak trucks being taken out while 12 planes have fallen, doing a little better than last time but not much. It also doesn't help that a couple from the flak team decided to join the plane side I believe from just being done with getting wasted. I couldn't help but laugh when seeing planes that had fallen but still alive trying to shoot their enemies all around them. The final score being 23 planes killed and 60 from the flak side destroyed. This was still a massacre. Let me know what you think of the 88 flak half track when against planes around its own BR. Hope you all enjoyed this vid and you all stay cool and keep flying.